What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not... <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not... I'm not working for anyone. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm, whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it made sick. I'm on your side, kid. No need for a guilt trip. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? I can take care of myself. Clearly. Look, I may be in the minority here, but my gut tells me she's telling the truth. It probably is just a dog bite. Probably. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? Oh. We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. But we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. Turns out you're telling the truth. I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's alright. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time, you'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the ship. My arm really hurts. I don't know what to tell you except hold out the best you can. We'll see what we can do in the morning. If I make it until then, maybe you could get me some supplies? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry.
because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, I, <sighs> I can't believe this. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Stitches. House meeting in five minutes. Set. That's good. Cool. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Fine.
Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. Connected to somebody. There's no way. Still need some bandages, and something to keep it from getting infected. That man sometimes. Have this baby. <laughs> Let it be okay. Let it be his. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me and I won't tell him. I... I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurt.
I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I just need something to clean it with. I bet it would be with the rest of your medical supplies. Yeah, it is. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super old. Yes. We are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. Do you promise or not? I promise. Me too. Friends. A pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Okay. I better get somewhere safer to do this. This is gonna suck. Fun part. No, just like last time, just how Krista showed me. Ah! <sighs> 
Get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The shed should have been safe. Girl's tougher than I thought. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a babe. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurker sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, 
what is really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure. You are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. It doesn't bother me. I can live with it. Wow. It's nice. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, it sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah. He was.
I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Nothing to say? You got what you needed. You got what you came here for. Now go. <laughs> 